Hey everybody, we're headed to Alabama, down to the Stony Lonesome OHV Park. Got everything set up and ready. Me and my wife, we're gonna go down there and camp a few days. Well, we're gonna camp tonight and tomorrow night and the right, we're gonna wheel, go wheeling in OHV Park. Uh, tomorrow friday today's the 21st of april 2020 i'll go over a little bit more about my little camper here little guy six wide um, you can see the weight on it the uh, bronco's done pretty good uh pulling this i don't know what the gas mileage it is but it's done a pretty good job pulling it now we're gonna go drive down. I got off the highway. I got off the highway. I hate 65. Excuse me, I'm trying to hold this camera and do this too. Uh, I got off 65 and I'm on the back roads headed down to Clear Creek Campground in Alabama. And I'm gonna go through the Bankhead National Forest headed down there. So stick with it. Okay, we are about to enter the Bankhead National Forest. It's been a pretty good ride so far. Ready for a break, though. So we've stopped here on the side of the road. something high town path oh well we're about to get on the road again Coming into our campground now. Clear Creek Recreation Area. Yeah, Clear Creek Recreation Area is pretty nice so far. There's group camp, so we should be veering to our right up here. We're on in Bear Loop number 99. Yep. There you go, Bear Loop. Which way do I loop? Uh, goes in a loop. <laughs> Go either way you want to loop, I guess. 99. Oh, Where's the number? This is stupid. Oh, sorry. 90. So is that 91? No, that's 92. Okay. 94. So we're going to be on the right hand side, I'm going to say. 97, so it should be the next one on your right. 90, and well, maybe not. This is it here, it's gotta be. This one right here? Yeah. You gonna back up the bus here? Okay, everybody, we found our site. Number 99 in Clear Creek. We rode part of the way with our top back. That's pretty cool. It goes back farther than the G our Jeep Rubicon did. And you don't have that big bar across there on this. 
This is the first time in this camper that we have been able to hook it up to electricity. Usually we're somewhere in the woods where there's no hookups. So this is going to be interesting. Uh, we're going to put a tent on the other side. I am not going to film all of our work here because my stupid disc, scan disc, I've got a 128 gigabyte scan disc. And it says I only have 27 gigabytes available and I know there's nothing on there. So we're going to get to work of setting up the campsite. I will come back to you all in a little bit. All right, this is our camping setup. We've got, we don't have it set up perfectly because we're only going to be here a couple nights, but, and we don't have the dogs with us. So I'll kind of show you guys around. We've got this uh, right line gear. A tent that is supposed to attach to the back end of a vehicle Jeep or any kind of SUV and we just kind of may do uh, when you're attaching it to the truck everything closes up as you can see there's a gap there but we don't we'll sometimes if we're camping a long time we'll make sure that gets closed up but with this camper we got uh, for instance we're just gonna leave this open because we're gonna be sleeping inside the camper. And you can see in here, it's basically just a place to sleep. You, know, you do have some cabinets. <clears throat> and when you have electric hooked up, or like we do now, those receptacles work and you have lights in here you can turn on um it's pretty neat and of course you can run a generator too if you don't have an electrical outlet but then we use the tent uh for changing room um storage and stuff and also we've got our potty set up in here which is two five gallon buckets and some we have a one of those shower tents too we use but this place has showers so and we, sometimes we use that as a place to for using the bathroom but when you get up in the middle of the night you don't have to get outside you can come use the bathroom in here um, these are these things, plastic things, you, that's not just a trash bag. It's, you got any of those out, huh? Um, They're probably down in no, there. No, but I can move it. That's all right. Here. Yeah. These uh, toilet waste bags by Ozark Trail. We've used them many times to come in handy. Then on our little guy, six white camper, we have a little kitchen set up back here. My wife's getting ready to cook some stuff. This is the fridge, a glue fridge we use. It's small, but we don't carry a whole lot of food right now, so. And it's got a little storage areas up in here, as you can see over there. Got a light up here. Makes it real handy. And in here, I can store all my tools in there. Of course, when we don't have power, I can hook everything up to this battery and run, run everything. Fan up here. It, it is, uh, you can run air in or out 
on it. And the fan will really will keep us cool tonight. It's supposed to get down in the 50s. It does have this heating and air unit, and I just tested it, and evidently I need to put Freon in it, so we're not going to use that. Then I have this other storage box for bringing firewood with me. People say you can go out and get your own in the woods out here, but I've got it at home, so I'd rather bring it and I keep it in there just to keep it dry. gets done, we'll put it on the Build us a fire a little later. All right, Where's, turn this back on. Where's my there it is. We forgot the um, lighter thing. <laughs> yeah, so we got old-fashioned matches here. Always have backup matches. Okay, the eggs are about to happen now. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you know these are farm fresh. Straight from my own chicken butts. Let's see what we got over here with the burgers going on. Oh yeah. Got 
Oh yeah. Can I do one too? That's nah. one. Yeah, that'd be enough. That'd be enough for the night. Tank. I think the salt and pepper out. I found trouble finding a place to get rid of those green tanks. So I still have some just in case this thing craps out on me or something. What was that? Salt and pepper. Then we'll be able to put the pictures on it here. And the those get done. What kind of bread is that, huh? It's today's sugar bread. Yes. Good for you, bread. Yeah, it is good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. 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 Recreation facility is. Let's see if I can get this one flipped. <laughs> You're in the corner there, aren't you? I am in the corner. But I had bacon grease on it, so it's nice and slick. Oh, I think I did it. Yep. I think I succeeded. Good enough. <laughs> It'll eat good. It'll eat good, huh? Of course. My baby likes organic cheese. Got to put organic cheese on here. Yes, I'm an organic person. As much as possible. As much organic as we can get, we can get. The mustard, the ketchup. <laughs> and I don't want to go into depth on that. But it's so much better for you. But then we get to clean these dirty dishes. Oh. <laughs> I'll we'll just let the squirrels lick them off. <laughs> All right, people. We are going to eat. Catch you guys later.
<clears throat> okay, everybody. I'm about to demonstrate for you a very primitive method of starting a fire. I believe in doing things as uh, primitive as I can. So I will set the camera toward the fire so you can watch how I do this. Now it might take a long time, but bear with me. Okay, all kidding aside, we've got our coffee going here in the French press. I'll try to show that in the morning, but basically we use this grinder. We have a bean shipped into our house and then we use this grinder here. Grind it up, put it in here. You probably know how French press works. I'm about to push it down. We're about to have our coffee and set by the fire and finish out the night. So we will talk to you all tomorrow.